In this lesson, I want to spend some time showing you how to create window objects and handle events. I'm going to do this in the uh, Titanium Shadow, uh, Tie Shadow uh, system that I showed um, in a previous podcast. Um, I'll refer you to that uh, lesson um, in order to see how to set up that system and what that system does. So before I get into all of that, I wanted to um, show you the documentation page. Um, we'll be looking that, at that a little bit uh, here in this lesson. Um, so if you go to docs.accelerator.com, um, it'll bring you to this page where you can go to read the API docs. And uh, this page has a list of all of the, the different uh, user interface elements that are available um, in this toolkit. Um, and there's uh, some, some fairly important information in here um, that uh, we'll need in order to know how to uh, do various things and what different properties and methods and uh, events are associated with different user interface elements. So what I want to do is create a um, I want to create a program that essentially does the following and we're just going to put a button on a page and uh, we're going to push the button and we'll get an alert um, that uh, displays a message and then we can click on that that goes away and so that's uh, that's basically what we're going to be doing okay so let's start by uh, let me start by restarting this that's tie shadow um, program and I'm going to uh, Go to localhost and start up the um, the Thai Shadow um, uh, interface builder tool. This is uh, again just a prototyping environment that we can use, but it, it's also a, a simpler way for us to uh, be able to demonstrate uh, code in Titanium. So uh, let me go ahead and connect, and, um, and I'll start my session. So. Uh, whenever we create a program in Titanium, we always want to start off with creating a window. I'm just going to have a single window in this program. Um, and so I'm going to type in var win. Uh, var is uh, a keyword within JavaScript for defining a variable. And again, in JavaScript, all the variables are loosely typed. Um, so uh, any variable can can contain any type of value. So it can contain a string, it can contain a, uh, a number, um, it can contain an object. Uh, in this case, I'm going to create um, a window object. So create window. And I'm going to um, set the background color to, uh, to black. And let me go ahead and just open the window, and we'll see what we end up getting. So uh, for um, creating a window, there's two steps. Um, I create the window, set the properties, and then I open the window. Uh, actually, I guess FFF must be white. Uh, let me try zero. That's black. OK, so that's my, uh, that's my window. Okay, so um, I wanted to place a button on this screen, and so I'm just going to um, create a new uh, button. So I'm going to call this thing button equals ti, and then instead of typing all titanium out, I'm going to just type ti, and I'm going to create a button. And um, for the title of the button, Actually, let's take a look at the documentation for button. Um, so all the different properties that are available for a button um, are included here. So the, the one property that I'm going to be setting here is called title. And this is just the button title. This is the, uh, this is the string that will appear um, uh, on the button face. And I'm going to say push me.
And then I need to add the button to the window. So I'm going to win dot add and then button. Okay. So uh, a couple of things to point out here. Uh, I've mentioned this before, but the uh, when you create a button or you create a window or you create any type of object within Titanium, uh, you can contain within that um, some um, some property definitions that describe um, the actual the actual object. So in this case, um, I'm setting the title equal to uh, to push me up here. I said background color was uh, was black. I could actually add something else here. I'm going to add a layout algorithm. We'll talk about these a little bit later. Later, um, but I'm going to set out set a um, button layout um, a vertical for this. Sorry, a window layout a vertical for this. Uh, uh, and then I can set um, Top. I'm going to set this to 25%. This basically says that the button is going to appear 25% um, from the top of, uh, of the screen. Uh, in this case, uh, with vertical layout, uh, depending on how many objects you have, top, top will define how far from uh, the previous object um, to place the, uh, um, the object. So uh, anyway, so since there's nothing else on our screen, this is just going to appear 25% of the screen down from the top. So, um, all right, so let's send that code to the uh, interface, and you'll see there we have push me. Uh, the other thing I want to check, I want to have a different color for the button, uh, and let's see what properties I have here. And here's color. Uh, so this is the default uh, button text color. I actually want to change the background color. So this is the um, color of the button. So let's try that. I want to set the color of the button to orange. Okay, and then let's try it. Oh, that's actually the back part of the view. That isn't, that isn't quite the effect that I wanted. Um, this color itself will just change the button text. Good enough. Okay. So um, anyway, so now we have uh, one. So we have this button on the screen, but it doesn't actually do anything. I push it, and there's nothing there. And so what we have to do is create an event handler. And uh, essentially, an event handler will uh, react to um, uh, different actions that we put place on the button. So uh, the obvious one is the click. So let's add an event handler for the button. So button dot add event handler. And actually, uh, this is defined here within the um, within the documentation. Um, so here's event listener. Actually, is the name of the event I to handler one listener and event listener. And the um, uh, you see here that the uh, parameters takes a string and then a callback. Uh, the string is the name of the event that you're handling, and then the callback is the function uh, that uh, you're going to. Going to use, and I'm going to just sort of give you uh, uh, basic uh, uh, basic layout of this, and it's a it, it's a pattern that you would use for all of these uh, these event handlers. Okay, so the events that we can handle: click, double click, double tap, long click. Uh, there's a swipe that we can do, but let's start with uh, let's, let's start with the simplest one, just to click. So click. And then I'm going to define uh, an event handler right within the body of this uh, this call, and I'm going to put in here just a um, an alert. Uh, an alert will just essentially give us a window that uh, um, has a message in it, and I'm going to put ouch. Um, what did I forget here?
of event listener. Okay. All right. So uh, now when we push the button, uh, we should see a message. And there it is. Ouch. And click on OK, and that'll go away. Uh, but I mentioned that there's a number of different events that we could put on here. Um, some of them don't actually make all that much sense within the um, uh, within a mobile environment. But let's uh, let's try long press instead. Get rid of this and put long press. Now, if I just click this, nothing happens. But if I push and hold. Um, then I get my alert. So push. If I just click it, nothing happens. I'm double clicking. Now if I hold, okay. So anyway, so there's a number of different um, uh, events that we could handle. Uh, there's pinch. There's a swipe event. Let's we'll take a look at what swipe does. Um, tells us the uh, uh, the direction and uh, and whatnot. So let's try doing a swipe on this, which might be a little more difficult uh, to do in the simulator. And we'll try it. Okay, a swipe would be a push and then a drag. Yeah. And actually, uh, now that we have that, we can we can actually detect information about say the direction of the swipe and whatnot. Um, from the uh, from the event, there's this little parameter here called E, which uh, would contain our uh, information about or the properties about the actual event. So here's the swipe event. It has these properties, including direction. Um, that would be contained within this E. So let's instead of typing ouch, um, let's do this. Let's say direction plus e dot direction so this is a string um, that I'm creating I'm using string concatenation and then I'm putting the direction of the swipe in there and that's what we're going to see there's right or a left um, up uh, I guess Android supports up and down uh, iPhone only supports left and right all right so let's push that to the device and there we go. I swiped right. I see direction right. Swipe left. I see direction left. Okay. So anyway, so that is um, our simple event handlers um, and adding objects to Windows. Um, we'll um, obviously be looking at other types of uh, of events uh, and event handling. We'll look at uh, generating events um, in addition to handling events in a later podcast.